Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man army of Turan where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It's time for uh, the Chosen Hunter Stronghold. I was mentioning at the last uh, time uh, Roby and Hawkbite are going to go on to this mission together. Disrupt the rifle, nice little maximum upgraded gremlin. We got uh, the uh, Icarus suit. Um, total immunity against most damage types on Hogbite, so this is going to be fun. Our <clears throat> main idea is to save as much of the cooldowns as possible um, for the actual fight. The problem with the Chosen is he can not only summon uh, the priests, which will be an issue for us, but he is also immune against melee damage, which means one of our main sources of damage. <laughs> the hop bites, um, normal uh, slashes as well as the blade storm will not hit home. That's a problem. But we got other means of uh, actually killing it. I think Roby with his um, uh, new shots, specifically the um, rupture ability, as well as uh, the rapid shots will be more than equipped to deal with them. Just need to make sure that he's not going to be in the center of the attention. As long as uh, the Chosen keeps hitting uh, Hogbite, everything's going to be fine. But before we worry about the Chosen, this mission, uh, Operation Got Slab, uh, part one is going to focus only on the uh, portion of actually getting to the Chosen. So, without further ado, here we go. Landed in the middle. Not our first time in one of these facilities, so we have to assume the Chosen know we're here. That didn't stop us before, and it won't stop us today. You know what to do. Locking on to the Chosen's energy signature. So, the first and foremost, there is no understood. way through Move this wall, which means we can simply move over here now, for now. You're dead. All right, Overwatch and Overwatch. Let's see. I think we're positioning ourselves just a bit different. In case you're wondering if I've left some surprises for you along the way, the answer is yes. Think of it as a Let's position ourselves up here. The main event. It is next to an explosive crate, yes, but um, it is high ground. And that also means we get death from above. to say you're walking into some sort of elaborate trap but then i'd be lying to be honest i never thought anyone would ever walk into this place voluntarily moving in finding nothing in here interesting obi continues to move suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses. I have to say, I'm rooting for you. These things aren't the best conversationalists. Okay, so first room. No enemy contact whatsoever. No patrols, nothing. We haven't even heard anything.
That's the first door I heard. So at least something is moving. This game was a lot more fun when you followed the rules. Well, if you're not going to play nice, there we go. Will I. We knew there'd be resistance today. You know what to do. All right, interesting. Roll we can hit those three, but not the Mac, which is unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's give ourselves an A protocol. And a nice little rapid fire to kill the officer. Who of course dodged. Hmm. Okay. That certainly did not go as, ex uh, go as expected. But I do have an idea. I do have an idea. We're still keeping our advanced... Our advanced... Um, teamwork. Good. The idea is quite simple. We're closing the door. They only have one um, action unit, so most of them will not even be in range. That is bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. He did not. He did not even uh, see him, but yet he decided to go uh, explicitly for him. <sighs> I don't want to use the medkit yet. Fifty percent chance to take it over, which is a solid fifty fifty. Hmm. So just out of curiosity, we're looking at not enough damage to immediately kill it. If we were to vault, nah, it's not going to jump over. I don't want to eat another uh, overwatch shot. That's my only concern here. That's my only concern. So 
So, don't want to use advanced teamwork pre yet. We need to kill the mech to prevent automatic damage. Um, I don't want to take a 50 50 gamble uh, to take over. Uh, the mech, the capacity is charged, need to, it needs to be saved for the actual mission, uh, for the actual fight. So yeah. Let's reload. And rupture uh, the mech. That's a kill. If we stand together, we're going to take another. Uh, we're going to take another uh, grenade for sure. So instead, we're going to move here. This is going to kill him via blade storm, and we're taking one shot, but we do have a solid reflect chance. Not the cleanest way of playing it, but still, it's going to work. I didn't make it through. And let's not forget the sweet deal they cut us. I take you out, and this world is mine. Nice little shredder, and let us kill this guy. <clears throat> Good, we know there is another group right down there. Two of them, which means I would say it's probably an Andromedon plus a something. Because or an Archon plus something. You weren't going to win this war anyway. And imagine how bad you feel watching the elders tear this world apart. I'm doing everyone a favor. Alright, moving in here. This is going to trigger both of them. Okay, we can easily kill this guy. And the Codex is dead 100% of the time as well. We're going to save our um, aid protocol. That was a pretty easy ambush. Oh, but I get it. You will do what is needed. You will never give up the fight. For you are XCOM. And you are going to die. All right. Moving in, we got a pair of four and another one of two, that's six down, I think uh, 13 overall, so we are pre pretty much halfway there. 
took a very small scratch. All right, moving up. I guess that'll be okay. It's times like these I regret losing my humanity. The fear you are experiencing now must be Let's have a bit of a scanning protocol, shall we? Fifteen. That's the stun mounts. A fourteen. That's uh, that's uh, a shield bearer. Eighteen. That's a mech. And twenty-five. That's an elite specter. Next room. Mutant. 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 And twenty-one. I don't know. Yeah, an Andromedon, that makes sense. So, what do you really think will happen if you win today? Planning to hop over to the Elder's ancient crypt, strike down the very gods, save humanity, and reclaim the world. Not on my watch. What's over there? Overwatch and Overwatch. You are planning on actually fighting me today, aren't you? If not, could you please do me the courtesy and die already? The suspense is killing me. Okay, there's one here. No, it's just the other terminal. We could run into the mutants and get all four of them with a blade storm attack. That would be awesome. Let's see, see where we are. Ah, too far away. No, 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 no. we don't want that. Nope, too far away. <clears throat> if they were closer, we could do it. Okay, so the next pack is a little bit more difficult. That's why I'm not immediately charging in. Mainly because mutants cannot simply be attacked in melee. For obvious reasons. Okay, so there's one here. There's one here. One here, one here. One here.
not the right positioning. We need more ac actions unless we want to use cooldowns, which we of course do not want to use. Okay, I'll go. That's why it's not yet go time. That did not work as expected. Not at all. So if we position ourselves here going to be one down and the others might go into melee Let me think. This requires really solid planning. So we could go Reaper, kill this guy. Kill this guy. And then hit all three of them with a nice little vault. I think that's the better solution. Iconic Storm and kill all three of them right away. We would get back our um, our cooldowns, so might as well use them now. I think I have found a solution. Let's move into here. Free lightning hands shot. Kills it, Reaper. Into Iconic Storm. Right here. That's, I was hoping we could kill him. That clearly didn't fully work out. Mm. I mean, we can just like literally move here and take a shot. He would need to come close and we'll get A blade storm attack. Here. I got that one. 
If he would have died, I could have moved here and just killed the suit right away. Which would have been nice. We could have killed all of them in the first turn. Let's make sure that he dies. I, I really don't want uh, to pull the other pack. That's it. Nice little superior repeater. And it's one more pack. Waiting for cooldowns now. We might need Reaper again. And Lightning Hands certainly doesn't hurt either. So here we go. All cooldowns are back up. So we're again waiting. If I'm not mistaken, we had them somewhere here. Okay, I can see a little drone up here okay there's one here Likely that this here is actually the pack. Let's give it a try. I think they might be here. Yep, we were on the money. Transport portal directly ahead. Updating coordinates now. Got it. Let's go. <clears throat> Stupid lightning reflexes saved him. Let's aid protocol ourselves for threat assessment and then we're taking care of the heavy mech.
Yes. Time for some reapering. You will pay the price. Nice one down. And this should be kill number two. And this should be at least damaging it. It only has one lighting reflex, so it can't dodge all of our attacks. Dodge the blade storm, <coughs> but not the overwatch shot. Okay, the very start was a little bit rocky and bumpy, but I think the rest was okay. Overall, no cooldowns used. I am not yet healing myself, <coughs> Roby is still in a decent condition. Only lost four hit points. And yeah, this is uh, the end of part one. Uh, from now on, it's... Whew, it's going to be more difficult. This is going to be the end fight, the god slaying that we were talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. So, thank you so much for watching. We're going to have the second part of this in the next episode. If you liked it, uh, leave a comment down below and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Bye bye.